Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, December the 17th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aquaduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, for their feature race 8, 3, 46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Gravesend Stakes, 6 furlong sprint on the inner dirt track, 3 rolls and up race for a stakes prize of some sixty-five thousand dollars contenders number five this one's for phil number six frazzle number four rule by night and number three deer slayer just for your information folks the gravesend is named after the racetrack of that same name which is located in the coney island section of brooklyn this track closed by the way in 1910 here in the 53rd renewal of the stakes event, number five, this one's for Phil, is one half of his 10 career starts to date, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Number six, Frazzle, the six to one shot, is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this stakes field, comes off back to back power run wins in his last two starts. Race 8 summary, number 5, this one's for Phil, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 6, Frazzle, number 4, Rule by Night, and number 3, Deer Slayer, 5643, and the 8th from Aqueduct, the $65,000 Gravesend Stakes. Let's go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park for their feature, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Harlan's Holiday Stakes. Eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, three year rolls and up race for $60,000. Contenders number six, Boys at Tosca Nova. Number three, Trickmeister. Number four, I'm stepping it up. And number two, Duke of Mischief. Number six, Boys of Tosca Nova shares the speed honors in this stakes field, racing at or about eight and a half furlongs in the dirt with number three, Trickmeister. They sit the board in five straight starts, winning three times in this. Recent streak of racing consistency, including a power run win, facing better company in his last start. Trickmeister, the pace profile leader in this field, is undefeated in a four-race career, with his last three efforts also qualifying as power run wins. I downgraded this entry a notch on my multiple entry contenders list since he has not raced in over a year, 476 days ago to be more precise. Race 10 summary, number 6, Boys at Tosca Nova, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Trickmeister, number 4, I'm stepping it up, and number 2, Duke of Mischief, 6342, and the 10th from Gulfstream, the $60,000 Harlan's Holiday Stakes. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race 8, number 9, Bellyu, a 4 to 1 shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, takes a 5 level class drop. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Parks Racing, race number two, the eight to one shot. Number one, Becky Bell, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. It's turned in power run performances in four for the last five starts. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.